Shut up, Mako Plush. You are that chosen. Today I will grant you even more computing power for the laser that is mounted on your head. It's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to hook up a LiDAR light version 2 to the Jetson TX1. Before we get started, let's talk about the GPIO pins on the Jetson. The GPIO is available on this header. This is a GPIO expansion header 1, commonly referred to affectionately as J21. It is spaced at 2.54 millimeters, which makes it compatible with Arduino and Raspberry Pi. It's 2x20. The GPIO is often interfaced up against a proto board or a breadboard, as some people call it. This is a full sized one. They also come in different sizes half size, quarter size, three quarter size. This one has 60 rows on it, plus power and ground rails. Each one of the little holes has a spring in it which will hold a wire when you press it down into the hole. So for example if I want to put a power wire into the breadboard I press it into the power rail and then I locate the power that is on the header. It happens to be on pin 2 the way that this particular header is laid out is the odd pins are on the bottom here and the even are on the top so it goes one two three four etc so we go pin two it's there then there's a ground on pin six so I count over two four six And then I plug that into a ground rail. So that's the basic idea. One of the nice things about being able to use this size of header is that you can use the Raspberry Pi ecosystem as support. This is what is called a Pi Cobbler B Plus from Adafruit, which consists of a ribbon cable along with a connector which you plug into your breadboard. So in this way you have all of your different signals broken out here for you. Unfortunately, they're labeled as Raspberry Pi signals, so you have to be a little bit careful when you go to match them up with the Jetson. And then you take the cable, plug it in here, and plug it into your Jetson. which makes it easier to breadboard by bringing all the signals out to your board. Once you have your circuit laid out the way you want it, you can make it into a permanent prototype board by using these little circuit boards. Adafruit calls them Perma Proto, but they come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. This is a full-size board, this is a half-size board, this is a quarter-sized board. They have a little helper also where you can bring across the ribbon cable, an IDC breadboard helper. You plug that in to the breadboard and then you make it permanent by soldering the connector on here as well as the rest of your components. 
there's an adapter to go from female to male pins. And you have the same idea with the cabling. Plug in the cable on both sides. For the LiDAR light demo, we'll get our little LiDAR light. Version two, blue label. Have a little proto board. I already have the wires for the LiDAR light wired into it. Let's plug them into the expansion header. Five volts goes to pin two. Pin six is ground. Pin 27, which is the blue wire. is SDA. And then the white wire here is the clock SCL. It is on pin 28. These two wires are unused in this demonstration. They're for PWM. And then we plug this into the LiDAR units. And we have our little click. So let's wire it up, put some software on it, and see how it works. Okay, let's install some software here in the GitHub Jetson Hacks repository, JH LiDAR Lite V2. First, we're going to add our live I2C tools. Make sure that we can actually see our LiDAR light. And there it is, good old number 62. The expansion header has two I2C ports on it. One of the ports goes to zero, bus zero, and the one that we're connected to is on bus one. Next, let's load the repository. We'll grab the address, git clone. Switch over to that directory. Switch over to the example directory. And then make. So we should have our little example, sudo dot slash example. We need sudo for permissions to use the I2C bus. And you can see that we're reading the device. I'm moving my hand over it. So that's why the distances are changing. I compiled and installed Qt Creator and then compiled the little sample that's included in the JH LiDAR Lite repository. So I'm running that little program. Now you can see that when I lower my hand and raise it that the actual height is mapped. Take it pointed around the room. You can see that the distances change.
The upper right hand graph is the velocity change, which indicates the differences between the distance measurements over time. You'll occasionally notice that there's a minus one centimeter reading that just indicates that the reading is out of bounds. Act like you've been in the end zone before. Don't give me that look. <laughs> you, expect, <laughs> you expect me to do this with a straight face? Oops. I am everything. You are nothing.